Okay, everybody. Um, it's the Mass 33 again. Now, this particular gecko is, I don't know, I know it as the Chinese gecko. Like the Chinese cave gecko, but but that's just me. I just call them Chinese cave geckos. Uh, I learned today that there's so <laughs> many subspecies of them. So you just can't call that a Chinese cave gecko, I was told, okay? <laughs> and I won't, I promise. I'm sorry. All right? So I have my assistant, who's actually a fucking, like, a genius. He's like... You know, good at at this stuff, and she reads uh, a ton of information on them. She, um, she's always on forums, learning more and more about different subspecies, and you know, stuff like that. So, and she she's successfully has bred these. Um, <clears throat> so, take it away. Let me know. So, so basically, they, they live in caves, right? Yeah, they live in caves. Um, it's called a Hainan gecko. Yeah. This Island is the off of China. Off of China, right there. So it's not actually. It's it's. I guess it's part of the China uh, thing because they own it, yeah, right? It's like I a think Chinese it's territory. It's technically part of China. But it's just an island. It's an it's island. It's a off huge of island, man. Yeah, <laughs> and the the lines are where they're located. Okay, okay. That's where they. And are. that's what they normally look like, right there. Yeah. And they call it there the Hainan hi, hi, leopard gecko. And I tell you right now, they don't look nothing like a leopard gecko. But there's, but I, I mean, guess they're all kind of similarities physically, but they don't require the same care at all. So this is kind of their setup. They need a yeah, kind of a tropical. Yeah, there's super high humidity, like seventy percent humidity. That's high. And yeah. then and then they need what? Um, uh, hides. Like a lot caves. of hides. A lot of caves. Because they stuff. don't really like to be seen. They're really okay. In the beginning of this video, um, it, you remember. Um, I did a, a picture. There's a picture on the, uh, on uh, of of the huge like, what is what is that called like? Mapani wood. M Mapani wood. Mm -hmm. It's freaking heavy, but it's huge. Yeah. Um, um, I use Mapani because it doesn't mold. It's good for the humidity. It's huh. ex it's expensive, but it it's good. It's the same one I use in the dart frogs. By the I never hands. knew that. That's actually yeah. good information. See, that's where you hang. When you start doing videos with geeks. You know, say so I'm <laughs> I, I'm not a geek, man. I, I don't know, but. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, I learned something every day. So these are part of the highs and stuff like that. It's pretty yeah. cute, man. This I seen is one of the products I, I did in one of the videos, and then uh, yeah, I just threw it in here because it looked pretty. So it's not like drenched, but just just moist. like moist. Okay, all right. Yeah. This is live as well. Mm -hmm. So you do a mixture. Yep, yeah, it's okay. um, Pothos and Wandering Jew. Mm. That's what I have in here. <clears throat> wandering what? Jew. Oh. <laughs> That's what it's called. Oh, from Israel. <laughs> okay. Um, but the no, well, because I have the dart frog, so I have extra plant clippings, and I also have this outside. Um, hmm. So I use it in like everything. It's really easy to this, grow. This this tank, this tank, right? You got what four in here, right? Mm -hmm. Um, what size is this tank? It's about a a thirty, about thirty. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so you got four. They're about what? Five to maybe six inches in 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 mm -hmm. in thing. Females being bigger than males, like. <clears throat> so they're in here. Whoa! Look at that. I don't know if you can get. I'll poke a, them out. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on in there. I see a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> oh, here this side. Oh man, this is awesome. So yeah. they like to hide in the um. In the corks and the caves, pretty much twenty four seven. Wow! Literally, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I, ooh, look at that! Yeah, I can see like um, <laughs> <laughs> one eyeball. Yeah, they look so oh. mad. Yeah, they don't really like to be messed <laughs> with. So let's see if I can get. Them I fell in love with them because of that, actually, because I saw a video a long time ago, like like, like I let's say a long see time if I ago. Can get them out. But it was a, okay. it was one like it was like it poked his head out of it, out of the cave. And it was the creepiest okay. looking gecko I ever seen. I'm like, I want one. And and to be honest, I was gonna get a bunch of these, but I I didn't I didn't I didn't pull the trigger. How Jay says I didn't. And uh, and and you jumped on it. And you know what, man? That's good. That's good you did. Cause this is these are badass. Excuse Try my language. Get them outside. Well, I mean, there like, goes one. Okay. That's what they look like normally. Yeah. Well, they don't have the stripes like the picture you took from the book because they have regen tails and for whatever oh. reason they don't come back with the stripes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they come out with Like spots. The, the bands. They don't have the bands no yeah. more on the tail. They just have a bunch of spots. Yeah, and these, well, because these ones, all of these are Wait, wild these, caught. Okay. So I don't know how old these ones are. First gen? 
Yeah, the babies. But these are all wild caught. And then I have one male that, that's captive. I'm trying to get these guys out. They're really stubborn. <laughs> and um, look how cool that is. Here we go. Jay touched it. Yeah, I was going to say. Boom. Oh, wrong one. I'll get a nice little. Oh, that's crazy. Hold it. We're going to focus on here. What's going on with this camera? All right. It's focusing. Oh, you know. Oh, there it is. It was acting weird. It was like focusing on the, the green stuff back there. Oh. Look at the Maybe eyes. Maybe like on. the color. Yeah, they have fantastic eyes. This is they're known for, huh? Okay, that's. Good. It's good. That's all I'm say. So. Yeah, look at that, man. This is uh, you have you have babies now because you have a ton of eggs here. Mm -hmm. Um. And they eat crickets, right? Crickets and um, roaches and the babies. I've been feeding phoenix worms. Oh, high high calcium, good calcium. Yeah. Soft body worms and roaches. Mhm. Mm they like the crickets, but I think they prefer roaches. Look at that! Automatically, they're they're already looking for a for, place to hide. That's crazy. That's what they do. So. Because they're cave geckos. Obviously, they're not like other geckos that we know. They're like cave geckos. They're going to be hiding all day. It's dark, super cold in a cave. Um, so, this is the male. Okay. So, he's actually a little smaller than the females. Than the huh? females. He's cute. He's a little he tough guy. Hiding. So, yeah, here he is next to a female. Oops, if he doesn't run back in there. I'm back next to this female. Oopsie. So you can get a size difference. Mm, wow. That's cute, man. Look at that. Now, uh, um... I heard their banding fades with age, and like I said, these are wild caught, so we don't really know. That's why you see it a lot more prominent in the, in the babies, huh? Yeah. When you guys got these, um, did you did they tell you like how old these guys were? They have no idea. No? Oh, they're wild caught. They're wild cat. They have no idea. They're like 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. They look no. super healthy. I mean, they're super strong. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the times, I'm being real, like, uh, <clears throat> you know, they, they, that's like the main thing. They ever buy from wild caught stuff and, and, and all. But uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes if you, if you like, this is an animal that not a lot of people work with. You know, there's not a, yeah, a ton there's of still... people in, in the world uh, working with this type of animal. So... This ain't that bad, and, and and the cool thing is that, you know, it, that's how morphs pop out is with people who have wild caughts, and they breed in, they see something weird, and then they they boom, here you go, you got a freaking, you know, what is that, a melanistic or 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 a hypo or an albino These or some. Black guys, right? Yeah, somebody, a couple people. Yeah, but Black There's a guy in Europe that has ones that have black eyes, and one guy here in, in the United States that's on the forum on like Facebook. Black eyes? He hatched out two with black eyes mm. instead of red, which is cool. But I mean, part of what I like about them is the red eyes. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, yeah, you never really know. Now you're working with another gene. Maybe they oh, kind of no have idea. that in, the, in yeah. their own over there. It's mm -hmm. just that people are more attracted to the red. So you never really know if that's just in them. Yeah, it's I don't it's know. you know what I mean. There's too they're too new to even make an assumption of anything. You know. Oh what I'm look, saying? it's drinking off the glass. It could you could say it's a new morph, How or you? or it could be, you know you have to prove that I guess right. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to work with that. That takes that could take up to five seasons. They have that's a lot thing. of variation, like as far as banding. These guys the grow pretty quick. They do, huh? Yeah. So then this is. Which one is this one? This is the uh, other one that you got. This is a male that's captive bred. And oh. he, but he also has a regen tail, which is not my doing. I got him like that. But you can see his banding's a little stronger. Yeah, and so he's, he's hmm. probably two and a half now. Two? Two and a half. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, I can see how strong his bands are. Yeah, compared to the wild cots. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. 
So. And that male's gonna be bred to some some. Some of the some, babies from these guys. Okay, cool. So you're just holding back when the females, when the ones that they become take females. They a while to set, so it's gonna be a while. They have to be like a year old to. Breed. To tell. That's good. Let's take a look. We're gonna pause this video and shoot, shoot out over here and look at the babies. Boom. God, these are like I was saying before, little perfect replicas of their parents, but just brighter. And who knows, man? You know, you might be able to like. Cause you have some other ones over there that are like pretty cool. Yeah. There's yeah. normally one, someone doesn't like something with just like that. There's one. But. I I was trying to go through the babies and find it, but I couldn't. Um, that has a broken band on its tail, like incomplete banding, a couple of them, mm. which is pretty cool. And this is like, like little mini, little mini. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of them have patches on the knees. So, um, Dante, that's what I named that captive bred male. Mm -hmm. He has like elbow patches, like almost white. Mm. Um, and some of the babies, which aren't related to him, have that. have that so you might so if it's a female we want to see if you could kind of transfer there's something going on there yeah? well i'm just gonna hold back whatever i think is coolest looking i mean overall and breed the babies that way i have like two distinct like families like bloodlines that way i'm not like and what uh what kind of uh, this is what like kind of moss is this this is is that, that, is that, that washington stuff uh, it's um oh i don't know if i have a bag still it's moss that PCR was selling as like just spagni moss. Uh, no. But it's green instead, and it was from Galapagos. Oh, okay, okay. That Galapagos brand yeah, yeah, yeah. that they had. Yeah. It's the same. That say, okay. vine came from the same company. Okay. So it's their version of that of the sphagnum moss, but it's green. It's a different. No, there's a there, there's a name for it. I forget what it is. I don't know what they were calling it. Yeah. I don't have the bag anymore. I used it all. Mm. But, um, and then these are just the same, like, yeah, plain but, little hides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, so it made, uh, I think it's a, uh, Reptile Basics makes those. But, so, you can see, oops, the size of my hand, the babies, they're oh, yeah. super small. Compared to the, to the adults. Yeah, they're oh, wow. super small. And these have been, oh gosh, when did these first hatch? I mean, it's probably been, it's been at least three months, but it's probably been longer than that hmm. since he's hatched. So they hatch out even smaller. It's so cute though. That one's gorgeous. That coloring. Yeah. It's uh, but it's actually very orange. They vary um, in in color. You know, like these two have orange bands, but mm -hmm. for some reason the camera with the lighting is showing them as like perfect, gorgeous yellow. Um, and, and you kind of like light tannish eyes or, um, they're, pepper? they're orangey red. I mean, oh man, that, that was bad, but, but that, I don't know if you can zoom in yeah, and I focus can, on the eyes. Yeah. Let me, uh, boop. Oh, that's picking up the color a little better. There you go. So their eyes are kind of like orangish red. They're cute, man. They're super cute. And these are the uh, high, high in the end or high, high the, in, so high the in, high in name, cave geckos Hynanensis from China. Is like the scientific name, but yeah. Look, we're not. So, I'm not trying to offend any Chinese people. Like, I, they're just. I always read they were Chinese geckos. Mm -hmm. yeah. I put the water in here, mm -hmm. which I need to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then the phoenix worms in, in here. Cool. And then um, I give them also really small crickets. Nice. So they get small no, they dusted crickets and, and phoenix worms. Oh, nice. And they don't need what like as far as heat, they they, they don't need no light. No. No that right? Because they're in no. a cave. Yeah, you know, they're nocturnal. Like, they they exactly. don't like the light. I'm actually really surprised that they're even staying out right now. Yeah. Um. So high humidity and then temperatures in the 70s. Like ideally, mm. don't go over 78. That's good for people who live up north too, man. If they they can really keep these mm -hmm. and not have a problem. A lot of times, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, 
down down here in Florida, like it stays warm all year round. Yeah. So we can keep certain well, things out here or in our lanai or outside that normal people of North can't keep, you know? Well, that's or, why I have these guys in the house and not in the sunroom. Like the crusties yeah. are in the sunroom and the yeah. day geckos. But these guys are a little more sensitive mm -hmm. to the temperatures. From what I know, they, they're sensitive to drying out. They're sensitive to temperatures. So I keep them in the inside. house. <laughs> yeah. And underneath some door, so it's always dark. Yeah. All right, cool, man. All right, this is the Mass 33, and uh, this is my homegirl, K. Ham Ham. K. Ham Ham, who eventually is going to be making her own channel. And uh, I'll jump in there once in a blue moon and surprise guest um, <laughs> and kind of ruin it, <laughs> video bomb it, whatever. But this is the Mass 33 here, and, uh, and uh, stay tuned, man. You can also see any of the stuff on, Rep on Reptodons as well, right, on their Facebook. Because yeah. I'll just tag it or whatever. On on the Facebook or if you go on Instagram and search hashtag Reptodons, mm -hmm. um, both Jessel and myself That's right. will pop up on Instagram. And he's shaded 8687 on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm K Ham Ham. And K Ham Ham. All right, guys. One.